Hello everyone and welcome to S3 Bubble. So in this video tutorial we're going to show you how you can monetize your live stream. Okay, So you can set up your live stream with Media Live and then we're going to be monetizing with WooCommerce and using the S3 Bubble plugin. Okay, So let's just jump in and get started. I'm going to set everything up from scratch but there's a more comprehensive Media Live um, setup tutorial that will be in the same playlist as this video. Okay, So let's go over to Media Services, Media Live. Um, let's just create a live stream. We're just going to look at money. You can lock it down to your IP, obviously, all in the other tutorial. And we want people to be able to live rewind an hour back into the stream, okay? So you can obviously change this depending on your stream length, okay? So submit. Okay, great. So it's started. So let's go ahead and it's creating our stream. So while that's happening, let's set up our media package. So let's just go ahead and remove the backup because we're not going to be using the backup endpoint. We're only going to be using this endpoint. You can have multiple endpoints, but we're not going to be doing that. So what we want to do is we want to set up CloudFront so we can get our CloudFront distribution set up. Click Save Changes, and then that will set up our distribution. Okay, job done. I just want to refresh. Okay, so you can see our CloudFront distribution is in progress. So as stated in the previous tutorial, um, you will need to wait for the CloudFront distribution to be deployed before you can actually utilize it. Okay, so let's go over and go to channel. Well, let's start this channel. Okay, so while that's starting, we've got to wait till it changes to running, but we can go ahead and set up our broadcast software. So we're going to be streaming to this destination. Let's open up OBS. Obviously, you can use any broadcast software and let's go to stream paste it in again in the other tutorial take off the end stream key click show so you can see what we've got set up okay okay so as you can see I'm just streaming my second screen and I've just got YouTube just playing an Aquarium tutorial okay so you can be streaming whatever you need so we're set up we're ready to start streaming so let's just go ahead and see the progress you can see our channel is now running which is great let's view our distribution okay and it's in progress we've got to wait for this to become deployed but while all that's happening let's go ahead and create our player that we're going to be using so again in media package actions we're going to create a player okay so the distribution is going to be the one we just set up and our start time we're going to start streaming in five minutes okay so it's currently 150 okay so we're going to start streaming at 155 okay and we're going to end streaming at 2 so we're going to stream for 5 minutes okay and we're going to be streaming in London as our zone and now we can simply create our player okay so let's go ahead and we can view our player now okay so you can see that nothing's set up but now we've got the player ready we can start to add this to our um, WordPress website okay so let's go over to WordPress we've got the plugin installed um, let's go over to posts and I think we've already got a live stream post set up yep so we'll go in here okay and live stream we're gonna be adding our s3 bubble so search for s3 bubble paste in your code and then this is where we add a product okay so where we're gonna be monetizing our stream okay but let's go ahead and just view this post okay so you can see it just says the information is not ready yet okay so let's go ahead and create a product that we're going to be using to monetize our stream this is going to be live stream and we can put like um, starts at and to uh, what was it 1.55 p.m. Okay, I'm pretty sure that's what we set up. Yeah, 155 p.m. Okay, obviously you can change this to anything you want. Sale price, let's charge $99. Um, product image, just be any old image that we've got in your media library. And then we're set up there. So let's publish. Okay, so we've got our product. Now let's go over to posts, click edit, and then let's attach our product to our live stream. Okay, and click update. So now if we head back to the actual post, can see that it says our live stream you have not purchased this video it starts at 155 okay now we can purchase it here so if they went to purchase now then it goes to add to cart and then you have to add to cart and uh, then you have to view cart and do all these extra things so view cart okay but we don't really want to do that we want it to be nice and simple let's go back so let's go ahead and go down to the settings in the plugin go 
plugin options and let's just enable fast WooCommerce checkout okay so that is ready to go okay so we're now ready with the fast checkout so what we can do is if someone comes to view your stream which is going to be starting in three minutes they will simply go straight to the payment page they place their order and now it will say watch now okay so we can go straight back to the stream okay and we're ready to go okay so it's just saying information is not ready and we're thinking about putting a countdown timer here for the amount of seconds before your stream starts um, but any anybody who has any suggestions feel free to let us know okay so let's just go ahead and check out our distribution it's deployed great and so what we can do now our distribution is deployed and now our channel is running we can go ahead and go over to OBS and we can start streaming okay so this stream isn't going to be available for another two minutes but it, it makes sense to just start the stream okay so what will happen is they will get this notification for the next um, it's currently one 53 okay so we could add some more information here and we could put like an extra block in here uh, paragraph and just put like stream will begin at 1.55 p.m. please uh, wait until then or something similar okay so then we'll update okay now we want to refresh so stream will begin at 1 55 p.m. please wait until then okay so I'm just gonna pause this video because it's currently in a minute and a half's time so let me just pause this video until we reach 1 55 okay so it's now 1 55 in a couple of seconds I'm gonna run a refresh okay and they can come in and they can start to view the live stream. Now again, as shown in the previous tutorial, once they've used, uh, viewed the live stream for a certain amount of time, the UI will update so that they can live rewind. Okay, so just give it a couple of seconds while it just populates because it needs to have something to live rewind to. Okay, so I'm just gonna give that a few seconds. Run up refresh. Okay, and as you can see now, the UI is updated so they can actually go back to the start of the screen start of the stream sorry or view the stream live okay so what I'm gonna do again I'm gonna pause this video because the time is 156 and remember we were streaming until 2 p.m. okay and I'm gonna show you how we can turn this into a VOD asset after the stream has finished okay so as you can see we're coming up to the end of our stream it was a five minute stream and it's finishing at two o'clock which is in a, about 10 well 20 seconds something like that but you'll notice that the UI will update did you see it just update there and it now turns into a VOD asset okay so people can now rewind to the start of the stream okay and they can actually watch the whole stream so if they've missed the start of the stream they can um, roll back um, but one thing we want to do is we want to turn this into a VOD asset that we can use for our library so I hope that makes sense, this will make sense now. So if we run, um, go back over to our player, we're in our player here in S3 Bubble, then we can simply go to live streaming. We're gonna create a harvest job, I'm gonna put it in our delivery bucket. Um, and then for our folder path, we'll put it in, um, oh, let's go to live stream, uh, we'll put money, live stream money and then for delivery we'll be using this so this will be our player let's click submit so this is now creating all our VOD assets for us and you can see it's in progress here so what we can do now that that's set up is we can take our code for the player and we can go over to WordPress we could add a new post and we can put uh, live stream and then archive or something like that and then we'll put S3 bubble. Okay, and then we can put a paragraph and we can put if you missed our live stream, you can view it here. Okay, so now we'll run a publish. Okay, now if we view that post, it's not going to be ready yet. Okay, 
so yeah the information is not ready yet because we just need to wait for our harvest job to complete so that's actually creating all the VOD assets is copying over all the um, HLS files for us okay so I'm just gonna pause the video while this finishes okay great so as you can see that's now completed so if we head over to our stream and refresh and now you can see that our live stream is now archived and that's saved in our bucket folder and being served via CloudFront so we can still view the live stream here okay because it's actually stored in media package but I just wanted to show you that now we can go ahead and um, remove the actual so for the channel we can stop it okay OBS software now we can stop recording stop um, streaming sorry so that's that done and again you'll still be able to view this stream because it's stored in um, the channel well actually there we go so the channel is gone now so okay so it's gone but remember when the channel has gone stopped and media package and everything's been deleted okay we cannot view our live stream here but we did archive it okay so our live stream will always be available here so that's why it's important to make sure you archive it before you delete any or stop any resources in AWS okay because it will prevent your stream from running okay so let's go ahead and we can delete all these so we're deleting the media package endpoints um, once this is stopped, once this is stopped, obviously I'm going to delete this. I'm going to delete the endpoints and delete the security groups. Okay, so I'm just going to clean up my interface. Now the live stream will be gone, so you can remove this post to maybe put a link to the actual archive stream. Okay, here. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. Any questions? Drop us an email at support at s3bubble.com.